Good day to all who are watching my presentation. I am Edgar Vika Ilipan from Grade 12 Gas B. For today's topic, I will discuss Quarter 3 Module 5 entitled Media and Information Languages. This module aims to help you understand various media and information languages. The scope of this module permits it to be used in many different learning situations. Lessons are arranged to follow the understand sequence of the course, but the order in which you, you read them can be changed. Media and information literacy involves a full understanding of how information, signs, symbols, and meanings are being communicated through various media. Language is one important medium to communicate. In this module, you will learn one aspect of language. The language as functions in media and information. Media language denotes how media producers make meaning about a certain medium. It allows the audience to convey the meaning of text through its signs and symbols. Audiences may interpret the media text denotatively or connotatively depending on their interpretation of the sign and symbol. Denotative meaning is the literal meaning of the media text while connotative meaning refers to the various interpretations that the text suggests to the audience which are often associated with their cultures, values, beliefs, and etc. In interpreting the meaning of the media text, you must be able to understand two of the most significant aspects of media information language. The codes and conventions. Media codes and conventions are very foundation of all existing media. Media codes commonly have established meaning denotation or connotation to the target audience. Meanwhile, conventions refer to the possible methods in which codes are organized in product. Media codes has three types. Symbolic codes, technical codes, and written codes. Symbolic codes are audience-based. The meaning of the product is not based on the product itself but one interpretation of the audience. It includes setting, mice, and scene, acting, and color. Conventions refer to the recognized ways of using media codes. The types of conventions include from conventions, story conventions, and genre conventions. Form conventions are ways in which the types of media codes are expected to be arranged. Story conventions refer to the basic structures of narratives, and genre conventions refer to the common use of the elements of narratives such as the characters, setting, or themes in a certain type of media. Aside from media language, media practitioners also look into other elements such as the producers, the stakeholders, and the audience. The media producers refer to the people who initiate, plan, and produce media texts. They need to have the skill in assessing the media texts and true understanding of the target product and the processes that go into creating the products. Meanwhile, the stakeholders refer to the people or organizations that share the same interests or intentions. The audience, on the other hand, is a significant element in delivering media texts. All media texts are made with the target audience in mind producers conduct an audience analysis before coming up with the media text. Audience analysis is the process of looking into the demographics and psychology of the students. Producers also consider the reaction of the audience by looking into the following. Audience engagement. This refers to the reaction of the audience to the media text. Different people react in varied ways to the same text. Audience expectations. This refers to the anticipations of the audience about the text. Producers may satisfy or shatter the audience's expectations. Audience for knowledge. This refers to the exact information, not ex expectations, which the audience brings about with the output. Audience identification. This refers to the connection built by media text to the audience. Audience placement. This refers to the strategies producers use to make the audience feels that make media text is made especially for them. Audience research. This refers to the monitoring of the audience before, during, and the after the production of the media text. That's all for today's topic. I hope you learned something from my presentation. Once again, I am Edgar Vika Ilipan. Thank you.